All right, guys. We got a good one going here. This is the next project. This guy's ready to go. Let's get on the road. He's bound down, loading up and trucking. It was a long, hard drive, and this guy's whooped just from the ride. So we made it to the off-grid here. Probably crazy windy, I apologize. But I think right here, we're building an off-grid cabin. Tiny cabin, micro cabin. <laughs> it's gonna be sweet. All right, guys. I kinda got camp set up for the week. Little man's in the bed. It's really hot out, so he's kinda enjoying the fan blowing on him. Got the eco flow running. I'll run that fan for two days. Nice. Got my grill. Might make some dinner in a little bit, but that'd probably just be a can of chili. I think I want to put the cabin right here. It's relatively level. There's my tools. It's pretty level here. I'm gonna build the thing on skids so it can move. Uh, it can be, you know, dragged somewhere. There is a pond uh, down that way. It's a little torn up. Doesn't really have like a beach or anything. But that's in the future, hopefully. So uh, I think it cabin being parked right here will be pretty good. And it can be taken down as a little beach house or something later. All right, that's basically it. We're gonna go for eight by 12. I guess I'll set the horses up, get the treated on it that will be for the floor and kind of expose the three quarter OSB uh, that is pretty much top of the bunk. I built the load myself, so I knew how I was gonna use it because when you call a big box store, they never build the load right. They put all the stuff you need at the bottom and then you have to dig through all the stuff you don't need to get to the stuff you do need. I don't get it. Right now, I'm gonna get a few more things buttoned up, uh, then kind of get my camp squared away for the night. So I'll be ready to fire up first thing in the morning. Off grid living, baby. As everybody that watches Steve Wallace knows, step one is setting up the camp, step two is having a drink. Cheers. Morning. Some good good sleeping in the back of the truck. I kind of felt like Mav. <laughs> I'm going to get my 4x4 spliced together and figure out where they're going to go. And let's start building this thing. 5 inch lags, specs. I've talked about them before. You can get them at Menards. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive and they have a good um, you know holding weight shear weight they work out pretty well I'm gonna go two through one way one through the other way I've got a few impact drivers. This one the chuck broke. So I just taped in the big bit to run SPACs and it's just dedicated. Still works. Eight feet wide, 13 feet long. So this is the foundation, the skids, and then our, our floor will go this way. That's next. But this, boys and girls, is how you repurpose a swing set. <laughs> All right, here's my floor. I cut it an inch under eight feet because I want my sheathing to come down on the outside to kind of cover the end of the OSB so that doesn't uh, suck up water. I went with not a 16 layout, but the 
19.3 or whatever it is that spares you one joist but still breaks on eight feet because that's all the joists I had. Let's see, it was one, two, three, four, five. I had six. That, that was all I had. Um, I think it would be seven to be on 16. That would be better, obviously, but heck, man, this is a little off-grid cabin, so who's counting, right? All right, I'm going to fire up the generator so I can get the compressor going. We'll get these nailed up. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get these nailed up, squared up, and then attached down to these 4x4s. These four fours. Get our decking on. First, I'm going to go get some bug spray. No, these aren't structural screws either. They're just regular deck screws, but it's what I had. We're doing this on the cheap. So, all right, I'm gonna get this re-squared up, attached down to the center skid, and I'll probably throw some more anchors on the sides. All right, I got everything cut off, nailed up. So the floor is good, moving onto the walls. It's gonna be a single top plate. Uh, I think that's the best measurement so I can overhang the OSB. I'm gonna get this wall nailed up and then I'm going to try to square it up and sheave it before I stand it because my floor is not really level. So it doesn't allow me to plumb the walls in afterwards. Hopefully, I got the strength to lift it. It's hot out here. I'm already exhausted. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. But I'm working upward. I think I completely fudged this. I didn't do this right. I've got the whole thing shifted and racked. Oh, this is gonna be hell. All right, I gotta cut this all apart. Cut these nails out of this OSB, son of a gun. Okay, I'll be back. All right, well, took the eraser and some ump, tore this apart, squared it up, got the OSB on there properly. Renailed it. It only took me about 20 minutes. But it's 20 minutes out here in this sweltering sun. Now I gotta see if I can lift this thing. You guys might be in for a heck of a treat here. I think you're out of the way in case something goes horribly wrong. 
No time like the present. It's covering down there. That's fantastic. That's perfect. Nail the bottom and I'm going to tack this. Rock it and roll. Ah, try to go away. <laughs> ah, come here. All right, I'm limited in the actual studs I have. So I've got these 2x12s. I'm going to cut them in half. I'm going to have to rip them in half to make some more studs. So I'm going to get a count on what I need for over over here. Uh, and then I'll start ripping them. All right, y'all. Man, I'm dying out here. I just had to take a break, get some fluids in me. This is the back wall, and it has a window. There's my framing for the window. So it's squared up and tacked down. So I should be able to stand this because I'm gonna have to build it out. I'm gonna sheet it up because, well, oh, hey, little man. The sheathing is gonna go three and a half past here. You know what I mean? I got this wall up, modeled by the dog. My door is just a door. There's, it's not, it's not pre-hung, anything like that. So I'm gonna go right up against that with the hinges. So that's the height of the stud. So I'm gonna go from there all the way across because I'm gonna stay lower, lower above the door because it's gonna have a uh, loft out here. And I'm gonna use this old header that was off a porch I demoed. I don't know if there's a video of that or not. Um, but this is gonna go up above that because then this is gonna hold two by four lookouts for the loft. I had a few 78 and a half inch studs. 
I'll get those nails cut off up there. I should have done it before I put it up there, but I'm delirious. Alright, that's done. That OSB should sit just a touch low so I can just kind of set my 2x4s on that, use it as a ledge and then nail them up. Now, down here, there is some old decking off in the woods, a stack of it. And I'm hoping I can use that. So I'm going to go see if I can dig some of that up. Alright, taking a break here heat up some food guys still dying from the heat I can't blame them so am I here is my beam that's going to hold up the outside of the loft this was the top part of the uh, swing set I disassembled I did dig around and find those deck boards um, they're very heavy because they're kind of waterlogged, even though they are treated, I think. Uh, and I don't have a good way of getting them, so I was just kind of carrying them. But this one is right about where it needs to be to get the 4x4s in. They'll go up, up there, and hold the beam. 4x4s are also reclaimed. They're not in the best shape, but what can you do? So, it'll be a 4x4 four four here, 4x4 four four there, the beam across, and then the loft platform is just going to sit right down on top of the beam and then nail in to that beam. That's next, but I'm uh, getting something, getting some food in me. I haven't eaten much today because, well, it's horrible out here. <laughs> but you got to stay... You gotta stay sustained, you know, you gotta keep some calories in you. Just water and some Gatorade ain't gonna do it, so. I don't know, I don't think the camera was on. There's my beam. Uh, it's proper by measurement, but not by plumber square. It's just kind of sitting there, held together with some screws, so it shouldn't go anywhere until I get my platform up there, which uh, I'm gonna do right now. Hopefully that doesn't blow away. That would suck.
All right, we just got done washing up in the pond. That was fabulous. Got a fire going. Burning up some scraps and I'm trying to burn out a stump that's under there. I burnt, burnt one out right there. Got the mosquito thing going. EcoFlow is running the fan for the dog, but he doesn't want to go in there yet. All right. Now that I can catch my breath, it's relatively nice out now. I can show you I got I got these trued up. Uh, I don't want to say plum because you know what what's plum here. Um, and I noticed this. I missed all those nails. I'm gonna have to renail that. feel relatively safe up here. I mean, I, I didn't think it would be a catastrophic failure. Hey, Mutt. That, that 2 by 6 right there, I think I've got a rafter figured. Um, and I think I have, material-wise, everything I need for them. So, first thing tomorrow will be knee wall. Knee wall, OSB and everything. And then, uh, drop these rafters on here. I'm not going to lie. I mean, this is decent for one day. Um, 100 degrees out or whatever the heck it was. And, well, we get these rafters up and get this thing sheathed up. I mean, the rafter's like five feet long, so... There's nothing to that. And I think I have an idea for a window in the front here. So that might pan out. We'll find that out tomorrow. Uh, I do want to say that I kind of stole this whole design from trap lines and inlines. Um, now he built a much bigger 16 by 10 with a full ladder loft. That is his bedroom upstairs. Um, like I said, this is 8x8 eight eight with a 4-foot loft. This is more or less proof of concept to me of what it would take to build something like this. Uh, a 12x12 12 12 would be, like a 12x12 12 12 on actual piers, um, you know, a footer, would, would, I think would be fantastic. But um, it's not in the cards right now because this was all used, reclaimed, used, you know, stolen, I don't want to say stolen, but uh, the contractor I work for said I could come and take a door, a window, and stuff like that. The The window I grabbed, he's like, ah, it doesn't matter, grab a window. So I was like, oh, I want to make sure this isn't a window we need. The window is 12 years old, been sitting brand new, wrapped up in the, the shop this whole time. And the door, the door is just a door. Unfortunately, I don't have a key for it. I'll switch out that, that lock. Um, but if I were to sleep in it tomorrow night, the night after, I can lock it up from the inside at least. So that's nice. Unless there's some random person that, that has a key around here. It might come in and kill me. That would suck. All right, I'm wrapping it up. And uh, bright and early tomorrow morning, we're going to get back at this thing and hopefully have it pretty well buttoned up because I don't think it's supposed to be as hot. And if the good Lord would just give me one cloud, I would be so happy. See you guys later. Shop dog uh, decided he wanted to chase after a deer earlier. Um, luckily, I yelled at him before he got too far. He would have been out there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs>